Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve these two problems which are related to this diagram. So the problem says that a crate of mass 80 kg is held in the position shown. Determine the moment produced by the weight W of the crate about E. Determine the smallest force applied at B that creates creates a moment of equal magnitude and opposite sense about E. In the second problem uh, here in the first part again the moment produced by the weight W so we will be able we will find this in 3 4 as well and in the second part the smallest force applied at A so here we are required to find the smallest force at B here the smallest force at A and then the part C is the magnitude <coughs> sense and point of application on the bottom of the crate of the smallest vertical force that creates a moment of equal magnitude and opposite sense about E. So <coughs> first of all we have to find the moment due to the weight about this point E. Then we will be we will be going to find the smallest force at this point B in order to create that same moment which is produced by the weight W and then at a we are again going to find the smallest force at a in our in order to produce that same moment which is produced by weight w and then uh, we will be able to we will be going to find the vertical force the smallest vertical force which will be going to produce the same moment about uh, this point e so let's start the solution so we are going to solve 3 4 and part a says that the moment due to the weight of the crate so the moment due to the weight about e will be equal to the weight times the perpendicular distance so the weight times the perpendicular distance let's say the perpendicular distance for the weight is let's say dw so now what is dw so from here this is the line of action of the weight so this is the dw the perpendicular distance of the weight from this point e so now this distance from here to here this distance will be 0 0.85 minus 0 0.6 is the perpendicular distance of the weight from that point e dw so we can say that the weight is 80 kgs so 80 times 9.81 multiply by dw so dw is 0 0.85 minus 0 0.6 meters this is we can say that this is dw so this is 80 times 9.81 Let, let's find it directly so 80 times 9.81 into 0 0.85 minus 0 0.6 so this gives us 196.2 so the moment produced by the weight about point E is 196.2. The units will be in Newton meter. And as we can see that this weight is going to produce the moment about E in this direction, which is the clockwise direction. So we can write that this moment is clockwise. So the, the weight is going to produce 196.2 Newton meter moment about point E in the clockwise direction. Now in the second part we are required to find the smallest force applied at B that creates a moment of equal magnitude and opposite sense about E. So for that uh, is we know that for B the moment we know that the the moment is equal to R times F or we can say that the moment is R cross F let's say moment is r cross f and we can write r cross f is um, either we can write this r cross f is r perpendicular into f or we can say that f perpendicular into r so either we need to have the perpendicular component of the moment with the force so then we will multiply both of them and we'll get the moment or Alternatively, we need to have the perpendicular component of the force with the moment arm. So then when we take the product of both of these, we will get the moment of that particular force about a given point. So what does this mean is that if we need to find the smallest force at B, 
so if we join this point e and b this will be the moment arm between uh, uh, th this will be the moment arm for the force at point b and in order to have that force as minimum we need to have 90 degree of that force with this moment arm from e to b so this means that we will be going to uh, apply this formula right r cross f this is r f so in order to have force minimum um, this r need to be maximum or we can say that um, this force f need to be perpendicular with the moment arm from e to b so now if i draw a moment arm from e to b let's say this is our moment arm from e to b this is that r let's say this is that r let me write that this is r e to b so we can write that this moment will be r e to b and in order to have f minimum this f need to be perpendicular with that r e to b so we will write that this f need to be perpendicular and that perpendicular f will be minimum and let's say that that force is f b so let's let me show that force at b so we will have that force fb here and this force need to be perpendicular in order to be minimum why this force need to be perpendicular if this force is making some other angle so one of its component then uh, will be wasted if let's say that this uh, F, fb is making some angle like this which is less than um, which is less than 90 degrees so then this force f will have one component in this direction and it will have one component in this direction so this component is going to pass through this point e so this component is is wasted right this this is of no use this component is not going to produce the moment about point e since its uh, moment arm from that point e is zero or it is passing through that point e so if a force or a component is passing through a given point it's not going to produce the moment about that point e so in order to have the force to be minimum it must be perpendicular to that moment arm so let's say this is our f b minimum so the minimum force required at b to be minimum right so let me write that this is f b minimum and we need to find this f b minimum for this moment which is produced by the weight so this will be equal to 196.2 uh, newton meter and secondly the weight is producing the moment in the in the clockwise direction so fb need to be in this direction in order to cancel out the moment produced by the weight so th the direction of the fb must be in this direction in order to produce the counterclockwise moment so otherwise so then we will be able to equate both of these so now this rb we need to find this rb so we are given this distance and this distance so we are having this right angle triangle so then this rb will be the hypotenuse of this triangle so using the pythagoras theorem we can find this reb so reb will be equal to 0 0.85 square plus 0 0.5 square under the square root multiply by fb minimum so this is equal to 196.2 newton meter now fb minimum this is equal to 196.2 divided by the distance from e to b so this gives us fb minimum equals to 198.95 198.95 newton so 198.95 newton force uh, minimum force is required to cancel out the moment produced by the weight about this point e now in the second problem we are required to find the smallest force at a that creates a moment of equal magnitude and opposite sense now at a again we are going to find this is the solution to problem 3 5 now we are required to find the minimum force at a to produce that same moment due to the weight so again we will be uh, writing that now since we want to find at a so then this will be the moment arm will be from e to a times 
f perpendicular so again is we can see that if the weight is producing the clockwise moment so then the force at a must be producing the counterclockwise moment so to produce the counterclockwise moment the force at a need to be in this direction or we can say that it need to be in this direction in order to be perpendicular with that moment arm right so the force the direction of the force cannot be in this direction since in this direction it will be producing the clockwise moment so the force will be acting towards the left somehow so now let's join um that e with a so this is e with a and this will be the direction of force at a and this force must be perpendicular so this is f a minimum so now we can write that this will be now from e to a we need to find that distance this is r e a so r e a again we can use the pythagoras theorem we can we can use this right angle triangle so this r e a will be equal to this square plus this square under the square root so this square is uh, 1.2 minus 0 0.85 so 1.2 minus 0 0.85 this is 0 0.35 this distance is 0 0.35 this is 0 0.35 meters so we can write that 0 0.35 square plus 0 0.5 square under the square root times f a minimum equals to 196.2 newton meter so f a minimum is equal to 196.2 divided by 0 0.35 square plus 0 0.5 square under the square root so this f a minimum is equal to 321.47 newton so this is the part b of 3 5 problem now the part c of this 3 5 problem says that we need to find the vertical force here that need to be minimum right in order to cancel out this weight w right so the problem says that the magnitude sense and the point of application on the bottom of the crate of the smallest vertical force that creates a moment of equal magnitude and opposite direction so let's say that um, that force f is acting somewhere here let's say our uh, that force is acting somewhere here and the distance between that point of application of the force will be somehow this vertical length uh, some uh, somehow this horizontal length and since the force is vertical so the force and the moment arm both are perpendicular so then in that case if we need to have the minimum force then the perpendicular distance must be maximum or we can say that the, the moment arm must be maximum in order to have the minimum force so again for for c of problem 3 5 we can write that the moment is equal to the moment arm times um, force f so in order to have the minimum force either the force need to be perpendicular with the moment arm and if um, both of them are perpendicular to each other then uh, if this r is maximum then force will be minimum and if uh, f is maximum then the moment arm will be minimum so since we want to minimize this force f this r need to be maximum so from point e if we apply the vertical force at d then we will have that moment arm which is the distance between point e and d will be maximum so we can say that in order to have the vertical force uh, beneath the surface to be minimum the moment arm need to be maximum which is 0 0.85 so we can write that this r should be 0 0.85 in order to have f vertical minimum and that must be this moment produced by this f vertical minimum must be equal to the moment produced by the weight and similarly the direction of that force must be in the upward direction since we are required to produce the counterclockwise moment since the weight is producing the clockwise moment so this will be we can write that f 
vertical minimum is equal to 196.2 divided by 0 0.85 is equal to 230.82 newton so the minimum force at b required to produce that same moment by the weight is 198.95 the minimum force at a is 321.47 newton and the minimum vertical force beneath the surface is 230.82 newton 